Hey, Dan. Hey, Cody. How you doing? I'm good, Cody. How are you, buddy? Oh, have you got much harvesting to do? Uh, I've got my paddock 55 to 58. Right. Fucking singing magic. I've only. No, I've just got paddock 29 that needs to be harvested, kind of whenever. Oh. What's it got in it? Canola, I believe. Oh, I, oh I've got the corn header on at the minute. Yeah, it's so canola. I'll, well, I'll finish this, then swap headers and come and do it if you want. Yeah, if you don't mind. Alright. And are you wanting to keep the crop or. Uh, no, I need to keep it and then I'll just pay okay. you. Very good. And will you be providing a carting service, or do you need one provided for you? Sorry, what was that? Will you be providing a carting service, or do you need for that to be No, I'll do well? the carting. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll let that bitch of a receptionist know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd probably sack her and ask her to work on her, um... How she talks to people. God, that was a lag spike. Hmm. You even lagged out in voice. Yep. Uh, you do, Cody. No, it was lag for me, from me. And there's another one. Hey, Josh. It's because everyone's on the internet. Because they don't have a life. why you don't let kids on the internet in my opinion. Man, I'll tell you what, I think the first time I went on the internet was when I was about uh, 11 or 12, but when I grew up it wasn't really a thing that everyone had in their houses. Yeah, exactly, it wasn't. In fact, there was no such thing as Wi-Fi or fucking that. It was literally dial-up. Yep, it was dial-up when I was a kid as well. And when your mum wanted to ring your grandma or whatever, <laughs> you'd have to fucking get off the internet. Yep, it was time to go and do something else. Yep. Time to go outside and interact with other humans. Yep. Hey Sark, hey Squeaks. Thought I better fertilize that new paddock we created. Not a bad idea. Yep, when I was little I barely had that as well, Cody. I didn't have a phone till I was like 12, 13. Kids these days have a phone when they're like 5. It's 
It's just the world we live in. I guess. Squeaks didn't have a phone until she was 12. Ah, uh, 17, sorry. I didn't have a phone until I was about fucking... 16, I think. Yeah, I didn't get a phone until I was in high school. Cody. And even when I did have one, I fucking never used it. I ended up getting a really shitty phone when I was 12, and I had to go on a camp, but that was it. But I mean, phones back then weren't anything special. It's not like you were missing out on anything. No. There definitely was no such thing as a smartphone. They were just <laughs> bricks, basically. Yeah. Or fucking clamshell flip lid things. My first ever phone, I think, was a Telstra ZTE. Oh, God. And then I ended up getting one of them Samsung flip phones. They were, they were a big thing for a while. Yeah, I had one of them as well. Everyone wanted one of them. I think mine was green. Mine was red. Alright, we're gonna kill some crop here. But fuck it, we don't care. <laughs> oh, was it Squeaks? It just looks so unlegit, the crop destruction. Like, it's killing two rows. Like, it's so over the top. It's too much. Yep. But I'm not, I'm not putting it row crops on here. <laughs> yeah, no no Insta, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, there was My, MySpace. Oh, MySpace God. was a bit of a thing back in the day. For me, anyway. I grew up talking to people with uh, MSN Messenger. How was that? Oh my god, you haven't even heard of it? No. It was like the thing that everyone used before, like, Facebook oh. was... Oh, that's just great. What? Fucking la I'm turning crop destruction off. Because a lag spike just hit me and I've gone across the whole fucking paddock. The first row I did was okay, but when a lag spike happens and kills nearly the whole paddock. <laughs> I know, that's, that's terrible. It's just not legit. Running crops over once does not kill them. No, I know. And it drives me up the same because I do this shit IRL and it's just so stupid. Like. How hard is it for them to get it right? Pretty hard by the sounds of it. God knows how long ago it was I was on MySpace. Haven't been on there I in a while. Never, I never had that. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Can you ask how old I am? I'm pretty sure there's a command actually for that. I believe it would be incorrect by a year now though. Oh yeah, that's true. Would you stop, you pathetic fucking combine? Fuck! Wow! Sake. It just keeps driving down the paddock, even though I've stopped driving it. Yeah, 
How do I squeak? Well, I can't fix that one for you. What's that? Oh, yeah. Yes, true elements one. I'll have to do it. Indeed you will. No, just no what. Uh, it is fertilizer, yes. It says that in the bottom of the corner. Although I'd spell it with an S, but oh well. I guess that's how they spell it. Yeah, for some reason they chose to Americanize the spelling in the game, even though they're German, which is kind of strange, but oh well. Kind of comical. Oh yeah, it would be small on a phone. Good point. Good point, Cody. Having the rows down where the tractors are driven, though, IRL looks amazing. And I mean, I had my paddocks last time looking alright, but just the... It's so just not realistic. I'll turn it back on once I've finished killing my crops. Yeah. Cody wants to know how do you spell fertilizer? Replace the Z with an S. Same with every other word that America that America decided to add a Z to. People are gonna think I couldn't spell it, but I really couldn't be bothered explaining it. Because <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. Which is okay with me. I can live with that. Fair enough. So I'm doing a rough estimate. Oh my god, you're wasting so much fertilizer. You didn't even turn it off at the end of the paddock. No, nope. fuck it. Oh. I'm fer no, yes. well, <coughs> I'm fertilizing the grass anyway, and we're going a bit off course here. But um, I'm fertilizing the grass up the other end as well. Mm, I guess so. I've already forgotten how to use GPS, so don't worry about it. Oh. What? Technically, I'm not wasting it anyway, because when I turn, I'm still on the crop anyway, so the crop's only getting more of it. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I just saw your pain go up. It's <laughs> not really funny, Jeremy. Well, that's literally what it used to be like for me when you hosted sometimes. Yeah, I'm not really, Cody. That doesn't matter. I mean, I mean you can use the, uh, the map to kind of overview of where you have been having been. Yep. But I'm not too worried. There's a fair bit of crop on it. A fair bit of fert on it anyway, so it doesn't matter too much to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, my definitely. god. 
Tell you what, I'm glad I haven't got a face cam on this. I'm just not thrilled about this. No. I know you are, Cody. Shot, shot. Looks like Brandon's, all his paddocks are just cultivated. I think that's what he was doing last time he was on here. He's actually got a pretty nice yard, to be honest. Yeah, he, t he puts a lot of detail into his stuff. Mm. I went up and had a look the other day. Yep. That's what he's doing. Ah, uh, Squeaks, there's a lot of mowing about to happen in the future. A lot of it. What kind of mower do you even have? Single 8 disco class. Any plans to upgrade? Nope. Why is that? Not more patience than me. I haven't really got that many that are like I don't really have a whole heap of paddocks that are that big to be honest. I mean it takes a bit of time, but hmm, it is what it is. Yeah. If need be, I can always hire in some backup. What do you mean, Cody? If you can play Siege, you can play Siege. See, this crop that I'm ferting now, I can see where I've been. Yeah. And you have, yes. Um, but it's okay. Yeah, my cedar doesn't do fertilizer or direct drills, so it's bit of a faff really, I'm surprised I'm still using it, but I try and fertilise straight after I've done the seeding before they grow and then fertilise on the first growth stage so that I can actually see what the hell's happening. Yeah. If you're on the winning team, you're on the winning team.
And we are done fertilizing. Boom, boom, boom. I'd rather mow the grass in the morning though. Because realistically there's only a couple more hours of daylight. Yeah, I mean we can sleep once I've finished this harvest if you want. Otherwise I'm going to be mowing the grass and I'll probably only get halfway through mowing and then it's going to be dark. And then by the time we sleep, if I don't turn plant growth off, um, the grass will have already regrown through its first stage. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Alright, I'll be back. I'm going to figure out what's going on with this crap internet. Cody, I literally said I'd be right back. Hey, J-Dog. Alright, I'm back. The internet is shit because everyone's decided, oh, now's a really good time to go and get on their iPads and watch stupid fucking internet. Ugh. If you think I'm a little annoyed, I am. Did it? I'll be back again in a second.
Hi guy, I am back. Very happy. I got to go and be got to go and be a big cunt for a second. It's all good. Well, I went and threw one iPad away. Oh, are you serious? I've hidden one iPad. And then I ripped the other iPad off another kid. And he started crying, and now he's going to bed. <laughs> so, it's all good. J Dog, Ozzy, 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 yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's all good. <laughs> all good for you. It's perfect for me now. You can just go around this corner perfectly. Just. Hmm, very happy now. Like a pig in mud. <laughs> Funny you should say that as I literally pull up to my pigs. What doesn't seem normal in the US? That was the wrong. That was the wrong thing. Um, that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. Mistakes were made there. Absolutely. I think this mower needs servicing, it should be okay. Um, it is okay. We will wash it before we use it. <laughs> How much more of your crop have you got to do? I might, I might just um, give my cattle some feed for the night then and then I'll be pretty much done. Mm -hmm. And then I can start mowing once we get back up in the morning. Alright. Because I just don't want to mow right now. Yeah, fair enough. I think I've got like one third of my harvest left to go. It's probably only about four more rows. So I don't think it'll take too long. Oh. Turn that off. Uh, we need a bigger bugger. This one will do me quite nicely.
one or the other one? All right, we need some straw. Probably another 10,000 litres of silage and hay as well for them. Christ. Each. Oh, wow. So about 20,000 all up. Yeah. It's a rather substantial amount. Yep. Got to feed the cows. We'll start with straw first. How many bales did you end up taking earlier? From you? Yeah. There's only two. two. Oh, two. Oh, then the front hydraulic is going to keep going down. I haven't had that happen for a while. That was interesting. Uh, do we want to hear a riddle? I don't know. It depends for me, to be honest. Oh, that was a crap pickup. This is just like real life, you park the trailer in a crap spot. <laughs> it is though. So, and then you gotta like you spend all this time trying to reposition to get it in there. Yeah. this bale bugged out or is it stuck? Probably bugged out. A man's 29 and he only has six birthdays. How is that possible? Oh, he's born on the 29th of February. Good job, Jeremy. Bucket is good for picking up two bales at a time, right? Correct. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about the side panel on this steering arm is um, just where the front end loader um, sits to move it. Is it because it's too far in the middle? Um, to be honest, I would prefer the front end loader lever to be up the other end of the control board, to be honest. It's too far, because of where it is, it's too far to my chair and I have to have my elbow on a much more of a 90 degree angle if it was up the other end I could just have it kind of fully extended uh, like real yeah. life yeah I get what you mean because in real life my arm for my actual tractor is up the other end yeah and um yeah 
It would be, and I, I don't know, you, it's never going to be spot on because obviously you can't really have it as a separate thing, but I'd prefer to be able to sit that panel somewhere else so I could reach it easier, to be honest. Mm. But that's just me moaning. <laughs> well, it is. I think, um... Alex just uses a, like, just a straight up joystick. So he can put it wherever he wants. Mm -hmm. Which do I like, real life or this? I mean, they're both different. This isn't anything like real life. I mean, it has its similarities, but I wouldn't say it's close. This bale is not supported. I think that means it's full. Yeah. This is a lot easier than real life. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that straw blower that I bought? The mm -hmm. coon one. Mm -hmm. um, that without any issues at all fits five round bales in it. Oh jeez. Yeah. Is that that's not the DLC though, is it? No. I thought that was the one that only fitted like one in it or something. Yeah. Yeah. The game says it only fits one, but Oh of course <laughs> you put it to the test, didn't you? Yeah, well have you saw the size of it. There's yeah. no way you'd only put one bale in there. No, I know. I would like to know what happened to the rest of my straw bale because they're all 4,000 litres and this trailer only holds 23,475 litres. That just deletes it. Well, that's a waste of my bale. It is. There's a scale on the side of... I don't know what that is. I don't, know, I don't have an Anderson feed-out wagon IRL, so I don't know. I have a Macintosh. Mm. Oh, straw goes on the other side, doesn't it? Wouldn't have a clue, J Dog. Someone else might. I don't. So we need to give these guys eleven and a half about eleven and a half, doesn't matter too much. As long as they get something. what I do IRL. <laughs> Some feed's better than nothing. Yeah. What's that gauge thing on the back of it? This, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, but it didn't go down when I just emptied half the load, no. so I don't actually know what it's for. That's what I was trying to figure out. I thought maybe it was for something to do with the scales, but... Yeah, it was kind of a little bit weird. I was hoping it was going to be something to do with the scales, maybe. Mm -hmm. But And now the cows have some more straw. That should last them the night. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, my day was pretty good, Dan. Thanks for asking, buddy. How was yours? Um, we'll just have to give them some more silage because that's the food that they tend to go through a lot quicker. What about total mixed ration? Nope. I don't have any hay bales anyway, so I can't. Oh. That's why I've got to do a heap of grass. <laughs> Dan just changed his feckin' colour. <laughs> 
Oh, this is weird without the display on the bottom. I don't know if this is the right angle at all, because I can't see. Must have been okay, because we got something. Yeah, it's why I tried to angle my control panel a lot more so that it was more usable for the yep. loader, but it just hurts my arm after a while, to be honest. It's a bit unfortunate, then. I think I'll just use the mouse for now. I'm used to doing that in the front loader on the John Deere as well in first person because I know that point of view a lot better. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, it looks so insignificant putting that whole bucket load into the trailer. Cody, this is a bucket. Um, yeah, that's what it not quite a great representation to a real life but that's not really the buckets it's more the trailers they don't really hold this much in real life no you wouldn't really want to carry more than 10 ton and we're carrying 22 ton in this what do you mean it doesn't look legit this is how you pick up silage I don't really know what doesn't look legit about it Picking up a compact food like this with a bucket would be just just ridiculous. I wouldn't even attempt it really in real life unless I had no choice. I'm trying You'd to grab probably it. just like, hey. push it all out of the way. Um, no, it doesn't push it, um, but because it's so compact and tight, you need the forks to actually grab at it to move it. Yeah. I mean, you would eventually get some in a bucket, but then you also. Realistically, I'd have to close this as well because it would be going everywhere. If I could only put 10 ton or something in that wagon, that would look quite significant what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah, it would. No, it's okay, Cody, you don't know. Right, that's my paddock done. You can get actual buckets though, Cody, with this... Oh, God. <coughs> you can get buckets with this bit, where those forks are on the bottom. You can actually get that as a bucket. That's what I use. I don't have those forks on the bottom. But um, that claw up the top that grabs, we have one of them. This cold can fuck off. You've got the flock turned on. It's off. I thought green. I thought green meant it was on, but I could be wrong, I guess. Mm, I don't think it does because whenever I like get up on two wheels or something I have to stick it to red to get them to lock um, I guess I can have a look here because they do I can see what's spinning when I do this I know all wheels are spinning let's try something then this action cannot be performed here, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, well all wheels are still spinning. Oh, for some reason the drive shaft 
wasn't lit up like it was on, but it was on for some reason. That's interesting. Yeah, the mod's not perfect. Um, I don't know. I wonder if I put the wheels on the ground, we can see what's spinning. I don't know, I don't feel like it's doing anything. Because the drive shafts... Maybe because the drive shafts disengaged, it's not doing anything, I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Better put that in gear. Hooray, it only took three massive paddocks, but my pigs have now finally got 100% of their corn. Oh. That they want. So it should now be a lot easier to keep on top of it. Mm -hmm. Jeez, I've gone through a bit of silage in this pit, to be honest. Considering that was all the way out here. Mm. For speed, maybe I should just get a shitty wheel loader. We could see if there's a mod of like a fucking an older one, so it's not like the brand new three that we have in the server. Well, it's just realistically, this is fun to do, to be honest. But you not like you have to do like twenty buckets just to fill it. Yeah, that's a bit much. That's why I started to get into manure spreading, because you didn't have to put as much into one of those wagons. And it was kind of the same thing, except obviously it's manure. Me knocks off what? Oh, it says knocks the fuck off for the day. Oh. Well, that was an interesting lag spot. I don't know, it's a challenge this because the control on the panel is a lot easier to move the front end loader with, but it's just harder to position the arm, but then it just does, the mouse just feels weird to use mm. in terms it doesn't have that kind of feel and yeah exactly that's good to hear Cody But no idea how much silage is in that wagon at the moment. I don't even know if we're half full. Ah, uh, I should see if I can get 
with that fucking mod or something. What mod? That tells you the fill level of those. Oh, I might even look into it later. Yeah. So. It's the worst thing about being near a trailer that you're loading, you literally can't tell. Unless it has a scale that's visible. Yeah, it's kind of a shame those Anderson ones don't, to be honest, like... Well, I wish, or they incorporated they something into the side of, inside of the cab of the tractor or something, would have been sufficient for me. Yeah. I'm sure I'll finish this eventually. Yeah. Just to do it all over again tomorrow. Hey, Vash. How you doing, buddy? I love how Vash spelt my name wrong. And then Dan says... Hey, and it spells Vash's name wrong, and it's almost like it's deliberate. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, yom. <laughs> Not too bad, that's good to hear. Must be getting close. I would have to say. Mm. Might be redoing the pit sooner than I thought. Still a bit there though. I've just never really gone through it that quick. Fascist the dedicated server. Oh, that's the Ford Kia, not what we wanted. Can't say I do that very often in real life. Slam into the wagon. Vash, we returned all your machines back to your farm, by the way, too. I wonder if that's full. It must be bloody close. No worries, we got rid of most of the trees on my farm. Yeah, that wagon's only brand new and I've already hit it like four times, I think, since I've had it. Oh, Jesus. Well, you just think you're in the gear or something and you're not. We're just going to say that's full. I mean, it looks pretty full to me. <sighs> I would agree. not finding any vintage looking or not even vintage but like older looking wheel loaders they're all big fucking massive brand new <laughs> it wasn't full it could have still fit another load a load and a half no it's okay um yeah it doesn't have to be vintage but like saying that it's got a bit of age on it would be okay yeah there's literally nothing not on the 
So I don't look at it so far anymore. It's just like... I mean, to be honest, that didn't take that long to fill it realistically in time, but it doesn't take 20 buckets to fill a wagon either. No. Have some silage. Not gonna register the hitbox. I think I could have done it manually, but my luck it wouldn't even go in there. Probably not. And I can't be bother cleaning it up. Yep, there we go. That's what I want. Yeah, the cow should have enough to get him to through the night. Very good. Time to go to sleep. On farming sim, of course. You ready to sleep then, Jeremy? Mm-hmm. You may have to speed through the time a little bit first, because I don't think it lets you sleep this early. No. I will do that. And it has to be 19 or 20, I think it was, wasn't it? I can't remember. I think it's 19. Yeah, give that a try. We'll give a few things a try. Well, that should be dark enough. Mm -hmm. I would have th thought. Just arrived home after a hard day at the office. Very dark now, actually. Yep. I should be able to speed up the time now. How long do we need? Uh, go 11. Uh -huh. Should be enough.
Hooray, a new day. Yep. I was about to say, same day, different different shit, same day, whatever the fuck we're going on about. I'm too tired to even care. Gaming Rachel, thanks for the raids. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Um, but um, but um. No. No. There. Alright, thank you, I appreciate it. Going mowing. Thanks for the follow. Ah, I see. Thanks. I appreciate it. Not necessary, but thank you. Right, so that idiot of a receptionist actually lost the uh, paddock. Oh, so. 29. <laughs> right. And it was uh, canola, wasn't it? Or... Yeah, canola. Okay. I'll have to get the cereal header. The cereal header. Mm -hmm. Kind of almost sounds like a serial killer. Well, you could use it to partake in serial killing, I oh, suppose. Oh, that's valid. <laughs> Is that what we're promoting here on today's stream, though? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't have thought so, no. Maybe on the next episode. Mm. I right. don't know. Alright, Rachel, thanks for the raid. You have a good night. Are you asking what my favourite cereal is, Demar? Because I don't really, I don't even eat cereal, <laughs> so I can't really have a favourite. I'm not a breakfast person at all. I do like having bread at uh, Briggs. Jesus, I can't talk today. I I love having eggs every now and again when I can be bothered. Not Briggs, eggs. My English not so good. Clearly not. There's so much effort trying to sleep during the night with a blocked nose. Can't it's just can't do it. That's why I want this cold to go away. Oh yeah. Didn't even know you had one. Yeah. Ah, Bregs is bread and eggs done. Yes, that's good thinking, Dan. I was putting them into one word. I like it. It's exactly what I was doing. What the hell? Why are we zooming into the tractor like that for? That's interesting. Looks like a hitbox. Oh, I think it's a hitbox on those gates. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the gates as well. Oh, 29. That's going to be nice and easy to get to. We barely even have to make an effort. Mm-hmm. Uh, the... this. This thing. That's a mower, Cody. That you mow your lawn with. Probably not this big, but... No. Wouldn't even fit it on my lawn. Jesus. I'm still getting the odd lag spike for some reason. I don't know why. Ping's only 30. Looks like I'm nearly using a controller. Jesus. <laughs> Looks 
terrible. Never seen one that big. Fly guy, what do you mean? This is lit. Oh my god, this. What is wrong with this lag? The oversteer is real. Very real. Maybe someone found their. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. IPad. Maybe. I thought I hit it, but obviously not well enough. Oh, it's going to be a real prick to get a harvester onto this paddock. Why? Because the gate. <laughs> That's why I didn't say and anything it, earlier when you said it was going to be easy to get there or whatever you were saying. And it opens out into the friggin' fucking track as well, so you've made that more difficult. Uh, flyboy, fly guy, uh -huh. not flyboy. Jesus Christ, I can't. I just can't talk. Um, one, you don't want to get too close to the fence because then you can't actually get the the grass off the fence. Uh, and two, I'll go back along the outside after. You always do it this way to begin with. At least that's how I was taught in real life, so that's just how I do it. Just how I do Luckily, it. I can completely bypass your stupid gate and go a different way. Can you? Mm -hmm. Up near the workshop. Mm. Does Jeremy stream? No. If he did, it'd probably be him just, you know, cursing at me and swearing because I told him off or something. Probably. I don't know why the internet's just weird tonight. Because they're in bed now, so I don't know why. It shouldn't be this bad. But that's the thing, it's not going up to like 200 and stuff like it was earlier, it's around 30, but I'm still getting some of these weird lag spikes. Weird. Yeah. There's a bunch of errors showing up because of the John Deere 6M. So maybe that's why I'm having lag, because I'm in it. Yeah, they are... Oh sorry, they're not error, errors, they're resource warnings, meaning they're yeah. taking quite a long time, like 236 milliseconds to do something. Yeah, well that's probably why I'm experiencing a bit of lag with it then. Yep. I'm probably just going to go back to the non-modded model, to be honest. Unfortunately. <laughs> Might have to, I think, if it's going to be causing you lag spikes and stuff. It's... Yeah, I was kind of leaning back towards the old model anyway, unfortunately. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I had a feeling this was a bit of an issue. Unfortunately. I feel like this has a different bit of a different handling as well, it turns differently I think as well. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me. A lot of the modders like to play with stuff like that. 
But they don't really know what they're doing. Yeah, it doesn't... The other John Deere, the non-modern one, drives very similar to the Massey in terms of steering and handling, and this one's just completely different to me. Hmm. But it could be just me with a bit of lag as well. I don't know. Could be. I just feel like this one oversteers quite a bit. Oh, another reason I don't go so close to the fence as well as the same in real life is you don't want to hit a water pipe either. Yeah, that wouldn't be much good. Because the farm I work on, there's water pipe all that sits all along the fences, so you can put water, the portable, portable water troughs in. Jeez, I can't talk. Just give up now at this point. Um, killing it tonight, aren't you? Yeah. But everyone's different, no doubt, with how they cut grass. It's just how I do it. I know last spring with the butterfly mowers, I know they cut like a heap of water line to it going too close to the fence. Oh, wow. He ended up getting yelled at and told to get away from it. Because it's all we were doing was just fixing water pipe. Cody, it probably. This is the thing, Jeremy keeps me up all night because he wants to play games and stuff. And then I still wake up before. 7 o'clock when I go to bed at midnight or 1 o'clock or whatever it was last night. Guys, me insane. Not you, Jeremy. I just wish I could sleep in. Yeah. It's just something that's never really came easy to me. Unfortunately. Me, unfortunately. My brother can sleep in all day. He can sleep till friggin' lunchtime if he wanted to. I cannot. He was lucky enough to get more of Dad's jeans. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, what do I use for this, Cody? Or what do I use the grass for? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, this kind of just oversteers, I think. I don't know. Could be me. Oh yeah, I'm using a wheel. My newfound love for this game is the wheel. I am going to sell this John Deere quickly and I'm going to see if the game, just gaming in general, improves. Mm -hmm. Cody, I don't get what you're saying now at all. Uh, my setup, how I've got it, is kind of similar to how I have mine in real life, in a real tractor, but it's also not similar at all. I mean, the steering wheel is pretty similar. Um, to change gears is nothing like real life. I mean, it's... Yeah, because there's no fucking gears. <laughs> well, there's no gears in farming sim, but also, I have to use a steering wheel to change gears with a push button, as in real life I have a lever. Um, yeah. So, 
Actually, it's pretty easy to tell in this John Deere. So that orange lever there is to go forwards and backwards. It should change if I go backwards, yeah. So the middle is neutral, where it'll sit. It sits in neutral now. That's forwards. So most track, well, actually, all tractors I've ever driven come with those. Um, and then if you look at this black lever here, that's to lift the front end loader up. But those orange buttons are to change the speed, so a rabbit means to go faster, the turtle means to slow down a gear. Um, you can also use those orange things there and the ones on that gear thing there. Um, that orange gear lever there with the black near the door with the A, B, C, D, E, F. They're your gears. They're your, um, they're your main gears and then the push button gears are all um, other gears. So, for example, A has four gears, so it'll go from A1, A2, A3, A4. Same with B, it'll just be B1, 2, B3, etc. Try to actually have a lot of gears. Um, so, realistically, on most traders, that's where the front end loader arm sits to move the front end loader. But on my control panel, that arm is a lot closer to this seat rest, which actually makes it harder to use it, unfortunately. But it's pretty similar. I've tried to get it as similar as I could. Get out of the way. Oh god, I still have the um this thing up in the air from when I had lifted my truck up. Oh. Oh, that's too good. You probably should have put that back down. I did. What's with the judgment? It's looking overcast or is it just me? Um, I think it's just that early morning haze. Oh. Well, way to kill a mood. Well, sorry. I don't know whether they go wide tyres or standard. Let's oh, go. you could put the Nokian ones on, they look good. Uh, no. <laughs> I think we'll pass, thanks. So this is the non-modded G. Um, this is the non-modded John Deere. As you can see, it doesn't have some of the dash bits that it should, because giants were too lazy to put it in. And I have no issue on calling them out on it. Um, Did you put GPS on it? Yep. Oh yeah. Just reading the stuff in the log, and it's talking about. Updating the guidance data. Hmm. So, okay, I'll keep a mental note of that and then I'll check the log again soon and see if there's any of that thing that was repeating a shit ton of times before. What was that? Uh, some read stream thing. I put a photo on Sunny Farms and tagged Fash to see if he knows what it's all about. Oh, okay. Uh, what is my favourite brand of tractor? Um, yeah, I probably would say John Deere Cody, to be honest. Um, my main reason for John Deere is they're very reliable. Well, at least where I come from, anyway. Um, my second reason probably for John Deere is they're very simple and basic. They went with kind of the terminology of, you know, simple, stupid, or stupid, simple, whatever it is, I can't remember, I can't even think today. But, um, but um, pretty much that's one of the biggest things for me is it's just simple, it's not over complicated. If the company I worked for would stop buying Deutzers, I'd be a lot happier. Don't tell me they bought any more. Oh no, no, do you want to hear their next business idea? Oh god, this doesn't have shuttle drive yeah. on. Um, their next business idea here 
Yeah, exactly that. Um, their next big plan is because the Chinese bought the company. So their next idea is, oh, we'll ship a, a Chinese tractor over and see how that goes. Oh, no. So, as long as I don't have to drive it, I'll be fine, but... Did the, I didn't even think Chinese, uh, China made fucking tractors. Oh, no, it's 120 horsepower, and they're like, oh, she'll be right, it'll save us some money, and... We'll, we'll... What brand is it? A Chinese one, fuck if I know, or care. Oh. As long God. as I don't have to drive it, I'll be happy. Because um, I'm not a fan at all. Because Deutz were on special a few years ago, and they were like, oh, we'll go and buy a heap of them because they're on special and we need some new tractors. Um, yeah, they, they were they were on sale, all right. Um, which is all well and good, except that parts for them are extremely expensive. And they're a shit tractor. Uh, I mean, there are some good pros about a Deutz, but there's also a lot of negative ones, and I'm just not a fan of the way that they are. I don't like Deutz at all. Um, anyway, so, apparently they're not buying any more Deutz, as I've heard, which is a good thing. <laughs> which is a great thing. But, yeah, now we're going to go and buy a Chinese trapper. To see how it goes. I can't really imagine this ending well. I would like to see pictures of it when it arrives, though. Oh, I've heard jokes about it from people at work, like it's only got like half a cab or some crap, and I'm like, oh god. <laughs> Why would it only have half a cab? I don't know. Uh, when I when I see it and it arrives, I'll try and get a picture of it. Someone jokingly said, next thing we'll be getting Chinese motorbikes. Mm. And I'm not bagging out Chinese people. I just... Their products aren't over here and I don't think they're any good. They do kind of have a bit of a track record for making some complete shit, don't they? Yeah, that's why I don't trust anything from China. Like in terms of like big money like a tractor or something you should just stick with something that's well known and decent surely you want to actually buy it from a local dealer so well apparently a local fun. dealer in melbourne or something sells them and it's going to be shipped over or something wow it's probably for mowing the lawn of the football fields is what they normally get brought for god knows what i fucked if i know Vash, are you getting on? I think he said his controller fucked out or something. I thought Vash uses a steering wheel. Yeah, perhaps that's what he meant by it. Yeah, this tractor handles way better. Well, that's good. Steering's there a bit tighter been... on it. There have been no more of those warning things pop up since you bought that, by the way. Yeah, I've had no more little, tiny little lag spikes either, which could have been half my issue when all, everyone was on the internet as well. Nah, when everyone was on the internet, your ping actually was going. No, I know, but that probably wasn't doing me any favours either. Is probably helping make things shitter. I'm gonna need an empty, by the way. Oh. I forgot I was um, doing that. Um, yeah, so did I actually. There's Otherwise, a, I would have given you more warning. There's a slight issue with that. Is it an issue that can be solved within like seven grains? Because I'm at 99%. Well, oh, um. I'm <sighs> I don't know, because I unfortunately, mine is only able to be moved by a tractor. Your what? My trailer. And? What's the issue? Oh, I'm using my tractor to mow. You have more than one tractor. Yeah, it means I've got to walk a long way. 
How is Melbourne local? And no, I can't use Melbourne. Oh, okay, I got you, Bash. Um, yeah, he has a good point, actually. How is Melbourne local? It's not even on the same fucking island as you. <laughs> because it's still Australia. Yeah, definitely yeah is. But, but fucking Wellington is still New Zealand, but I don't consider that <laughs> No, okay, is a major point. But anyway, that's what they were going with. Oh, by the way, I'm like Uber, I still charge for the time I'm sad or nothing. Oh, you can get fucked. I'll hire a fucking nun to come and do it. <laughs> Good luck. I'm coming, okay? Literally getting bullied right now, chat. Oh, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Is it though? Yes. I don't know. Came close to running into the wall of the dairy then. Ah, those beacons are nice in the shit. Yeah, they do. Oh, Jesus, you did too. What the hell? I was using the keyboard instead of the um, pedals. Oh, why? Because just when I'm in near the shed, it's just easier to use this keyboard. Mm -hmm. What's about these gates are shut? Of course they fucking do. I didn't go through the fuckers, did I? What's up, Dan? Jeez, I can't even make the turn. <laughs> exactly. You really think a combine that's literally the same width as the gate towing it hit us a long ways behind it was going to work? Yeah, you tell him, Dan. Oh, Tom's a grown adult. I'm pretty sure. Okay, what? I'm actually going to pick on Jeremy at the moment. What the hell is this? What is what? You see this chat? We have a New Holland harvester head, but we have a class harvester. And your point? Is why have we got a different brand header on a different branded harvester? Were you one of the best of both worlds, or...? Pretty much. Wow. I mean, I've seen it done in real life, so I don't see why I can't do it here. That's my OCD. There's a reason hit as a detachable Tom. Literally hurts my OCD. Um, how much was in your har harvester just then? A hundred percent. Yeah, but how much did it total to? Oh, I don't know. What's the number that you got? Ten, triple, nine. Surely it's meant to be eleven thousand. Uh, probably. Leave your harvester off. Why? Got to check for this extra grain. No, for God's sake. Where is it? Did you pocket it? No. <laughs> Oi, I'm talking to you. Can't even get up the fucking ladder. Okay, get off I, the, I give up. I'm watching you. You'll be hearing from my attorney. <sighs> Got ripped off there. That's a ridiculousness. Vash actually said, I'm sure the header, the harvester wouldn't be able to run that header. I would be yep. inclined to well, agree. Oh, I would be inclined to say, if it works, it works. <laughs> that goes for this game in real life. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know what to do with Jeremy sometimes, guys. This header is actually only about two meters wider than the freaking class one. Yeah, oh no, we, we know why it's wider, because you would have to have something bigger, you couldn't have it smaller. Because... No, if you would, if you didn't interrupt me, oh. I was about to explain the reason why I got this header. Oh, okay, we... The reason is that it has the trailer built into it. But your pipe is t not wide enough to fit out b uh, beside it, and... <laughs> doesn't matter you just go in from an angle no but why not just get well, a trailer this... and just put it on there like I like a normal human being because that takes longer oh my god the extra 10 seconds it would take yeah but that's every time you do a harvest so you <laughs> add that up every harvest you here do. we go uh... By the, by the time you've, well, by the time it's time for you to die, you'd be sitting there on the hospital bed thinking, oh, goodness me, I spent seven days of my life loading headers onto headers. There it is. Oh, I almost got through that without cracking up. Couldn't believe you even kept going after how stupid it sounded right from the beginning. I mean, I'm, I'm sure, sure if you were dying, that's the last thing you'd be thinking about, is how long you spend with a harvester header. No, I probably would, because I'd be like, oh, I could have spent that time eating chocolate. Or of course you would. I wonder what kind of a plow Vash has to use to uh, combine those fields. Probably a two meter one. Oh, fuck that. oh, I forgot to do something when I was in that paddock. I shut the gate. No, I forgot to do the outside of the paddock. Uh oh. Whoops. Which is a. Uh... A ripping a ripperoni. Mm. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Just a normal plow. Oh yeah. Tom and I both dislike plowing. Yeah, I'm not a plowing fan. Not really. I, I don't mind harvesting every now and again, but I'm not even a huge fan of that, to be honest. Apparently that's Connor's favourite thing to do. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. The only time I liked um, harvesting was on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and you could run people over, and it would actually spit blood and shit out the, um, the pipe. That was probably the best bit. Fucking hell. That was, that was the only thing I like about harvesting. Uh. That makes me a sick psychopath, then that's okay. <laughs> Bloody well does. I can live with that. Mm, I think what's even worse about that situation is the fact that you're okay with it. What was that? The worst part is the fact that you're okay with it. Why? That's like the best thing. Oh, you can do that on Far Cry 5? Jeez, I might actually look into getting that game now. <laughs> yeah. Does that have multiplayer? Oh god, I'll be running you over all the time. Mm. If that has multiplayer, I think that could actually have it. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it does have multiplayer. I've never really... I don't think I've ever actually played Far Cry to be honest. Never thought it was a game that... I, do, I, I mean, I've seen videos of it, but it's never been a game that's really struck me as something I've wanted to just go out and buy. 
I think I bought one in a Steam sale when it was like $5, but I never ended up playing it, so... Ooh. Oh, crap. Well, I pressed the wrong button. It hasn't taken me too long. I've made two paddocks already. Mm. I mean, they're only tiny. Yep. Uh, your field is now harvested. Oh, perfect. What else are you doing for the rest of the day? Yeah. I'm gonna go back to my farm now and have a look at the diary. Let's see what it's Is there a video of this fashion? I kinda wanna see it. This is a day when I could do with a worker. I don't think you can hire a worker in my guys. You can if it's in a paddock. Oh, can you? Mm -hmm. Um, I just put the rest of the canola into your trailer. Oh, I would have came down, would it? That's fine. It was basically on my way out anyway, so. Yeah, thanks for doing that. Oh. No worries, it'll be a couple of thousand dollars or so. I don't think people get paid that much in real life to do a paddy. Well, with your I attitude. Think it, I think it is pretty expensive to hire in a contract. You'd be lucky to get $2.50 from me. Oh, for God's sake. Of course I would. Well, lucky on farm and seeing the most I, the least I can give is like a hundred dollars. I think I've probably earned a little bit more than that. But I could be one of those cunts of farmers who just don't pay anything. <laughs> They're literally the people you want to punch in the face. Mm -hmm. Let me just get on my phone up really quick. Internet banking, what would I do without it? Tell me about it. Lucky I live up in this nice part of the hill with phone service. That's another good thing about this farming sim compared to my real life farming sim. At least I get cell phone service on this. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of want to hire a worker to do this because I want to go and start raking, but at the same time I, I really enjoy mowing and I know he's not going to do as good a job as I will. He won't, he won't do it the same as you will, that's for sure. He won't do it anywhere near as good as me. Mm. Which is an issue for me. Yep. I mean, I guess we could experiment and let the worker do it for a little bit. At least get a couple of paddocks raked. Yeah. 
I mean, realistically, you would let it sit for a bit anyway, but... It's also a game and I don't want to be here all friggin' day. No. Takes long enough doing this in real life. I don't think you can hire a worker. I was having a problem where I kept accidentally hiring a worker earlier at my grass paddock. Maybe it just doesn't work with that particular mower. Hmm, maybe. What mower were you using? The butterfly one. Yeah, I guess it could be this mower. I don't have a butterfly though. This is the only mower I've got. Yeah. I don't really have the money to go and buy one and I don't really want to go and buy one either. I mean the paddocks aren't that big, it's just more the time factor. Who just messaged me? I got a bloody message too. What's that? Sorry, chat. Gotta look at this really quick. Oh god. Oh god, it's Vash. Hang on. Yeah. I'm copying the link. We're all just gonna watch it together. Hang on, chat. I'll put it up for oh, everyone. Oh yeah, you should play it on your stream. I will. We can all watch it together. Did someone say KFC? All right, let's have a look. <clears throat> Guys, for one minute and 12 seconds, this is doable. Fertilizing the land trophy. I can only imagine what that means. Oh God, this thing looks like a beast. Video of it, okay. Not particularly. No. Oh god, he's getting lit up. Is this game going to be I'm not sure if it's meant to be or not. I don't know how this guy isn't dead, he's taking a lot of bullets. Oh, he's dead. Surely. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Oh, that's funny. Damn, son. <laughs> oh. Fair to say, those people got mowed. Mm. Did you ask uh, something? Oh, he said, isn't the game in 3D or something, I think, Bash. It looks like it was 3D because like there was red and blue offsets of the image, which is normally what those pictures look like if you look at them with those red and blue 3D glasses, they go 3D.
Hey, you were reading the chat. Oh, oh. that's <coughs> interesting. just found that um, mixer display mod on a different site where you don't have to sign up. Oh, good. Yeah, so I've just downloaded it. Perfect. If you get any spare time, do you mind helping? You don't have to, if you're busy on your phone. Um, I should be able to come over shortly, yeah. You don't have to, if you've got stuff to do on yours. No, I don't. I'm literally just waiting for crops to grow. Because I'll still have to rake, and then I've still got to bale, and then I've got to go and move them, and then I've got to wrap them, and... Oh, my God. There's still a bit of a process to go for me. Mm. You're good, Bash. I mean, if I was a, as an efficient person as Jeremy, I would have a bigger mower and get this done a lot quicker, but I like doing it with the small one. Sometimes I wish the camera angle would stay how you have it, instead of when you hit a bump or something it moves. And sits in a different yeah. spot. Yeah, I'm sure they'll probably make a mod to disable that, like they did for 17 and 15 and all the others. No, it's okay, but... Hoping to get a good, good um, amount of bales out of this because this was pretty heavily fertilised, and I'm just hoping for some good bales, a good amount of them. I 
I'm just reading about um, the rain in FS19. I was reading a Reddit thread. Apparently some people have gone up to 500 hours so far and never seen a single day of rain. Well, that'll be me. Yeah, and other people have said that they've had to restart games because it starts raining and literally rains for like an in-game week. <laughs> So, <laughs> I mean that's pretty. Sounds, that's pretty realistic, isn't it? Uh, yeah. But it doesn't look as though there's any way to use the console to actually set the weather, which is kind of a shame. I mean, I'm not asking for a a, a day of rain or something, but like, just give me ten minutes or something so I can at least have seen it on the game. Hmm. Because I'm well over 200 hours on this game and I haven't even seen the rain. I, I ended up just going and watching a YouTube video to see it. <laughs> I, I was slightly disappointed when I saw it on the YouTube video, though. It wasn't quite what I expected it to be a bit better. I probably had my... My expectations were probably a little too high. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to see little droplets or something on the windscreen and actually see them washed away and stuff. Nope. It's literally just the wiper going around. Which is pretty shit, but it is an improvement considering they never used to do anything. Mm. Yes, I know, Vash, it rained for you the very first time you loaded up FS19. Pretty much the same for Brandon as well. Lucky him. Have you seen the rain? Yeah. Yeah, I have. It not. started raining in one of my maps. I mean, today in service, probably the foggiest and overcast I've seen lately, but I still don't think it's going to rain. I can still see the sun trying to come out. Yeah. Best thing about mowing is you don't need a GPS or anything, you just literally drive on the bit you've already mowed and you're good. Yeah. Especially with this single mower. It's very easy to do first person, isn't it? Almost done paddock 50. Still three paddocks to go, I believe. Oh, I'm mowing everything. Did you just buy something? Nope. 
Probably just ordinary lag spikes then. I was already ready for a service. Wow, that was quick. My mouse is going off the screen again. Oh god. It's fixed now, I don't know why it's doing that. I think. Yeah, it seems to be okay now. Hmm. Weird. Oh, bash, I um, I finally put in some potatoes. They're officially in. Here's my lag spot right here, where we killed that bit of the paddock. <laughs> Oops. But they're growing. Tell you what, the crops do look good, to be honest. Like, look at how green and good they look. You all still need harvesting? Yep. Coming down to help Mo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably better to go and do up near 30. I'll go and do 33 because you're you're using the butterflies, aren't you? Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'll leave Paddock 30 and the new one that we created to you then. Because that's a pretty big paddock. And you just want it spread out? Um, it's up to you. If you want to put that into rows automatically, because it's only going to... Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, row that one. I will just bail that one as grass and I'll tether the other paddock. So, which one? 30. Yeah, 30, and then remember how we made that up behind 30 into a paddock as well? I'm not sure how well this is going to work, because I don't have my middle mower. It's not going to work then, because you're not going to go, you're not going to be mowing the middle bit. Well, I was planning to, like, do a strip, then turn around and go back, and with the like the right mower, I'd get the. But I missed it. Well, it's not going. It's not going to rake it properly then. No, I know. Yeah, so, so it's just going to leave it out flat. Yeah, just leave it out flat. Why don't you just go and get your middle mower? That doesn't go in the front of this tractor. It's unlike you to do that. Normally, you just put them as one. See, I can hire a worker to do this. Yeah, I can't with my mower. Mm, must have just been the mower then. Uh, it's probably because it's offset from the tractor, so they couldn't be bothered writing a script for that um, worker to deal with it. So it's about the way Giants works, to be honest. Yeah, this is a modern mower, but I haven't tried it with those other ones either. So Oh, I uh, forgot I had a paddock of crop up here. You have to give me contractor access back. This is actually working out okay. mm here. -hmm. swap back to a proper tractor because the tracks just too too quick to turn without a wheel.
so you would prefer them rolled up, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, unless you want to rake them later. the paddock I'm currently mowing will be just hay bales instead of grass. And do you want them mowed as separate paddocks or just all one big? Can all be as one big one. Alright. I believe we got rid of most of the branches and stumps in there, but I could be wrong, so be careful. I can see at least one stump. Uh, I already have a stump grinder, Vash. It's only Jeremy's mower if he gets it. He makes plenty of money as it is. Okay. That's actually something I do want to look at. Is milk still on demand? Nope. Still selling for 2000 bucks though. It's pretty decent. Still not bad, is it? I mean, it's not three grand like it was earlier, but... Mm.
I mean, I'm back to nearly 20,000 litres of milk again. Oh, God. But my cows are about to run out of hay and silage. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't think it's a rental. No, it's not. I ended up just buying it, I think, because it was only like a couple of thousand dollars anyway. Yeah, they're not very expensive. So I kind of just made it a decision and said, fuck it, and grabbed it. It's there if I need it, sort of thing. I think I've actually made a decision on what I'm gonna do. Paddock right. you're doing, the paddock I'm doing will be grass bales. And those other three paddocks up towards my house will be hay. Oh yeah. I think that'll work better. How's your paddock going? Yeah, not too bad. You over halfway? Um, not quite. I'd say I'm another year off half. <laughs> That's not taking too long. Fuck, that would have destroyed my mower if I had it. What? There's still a log in the bloody paddock. A log? Hmm. Jeeps. A pine one or one of them crooked ones? Uh, looks like it's like the tail end of one of those crooked ones. Yeah, you can probably pick it up with your hands. Mm hmm. So your mole probably would have just munched it. Oh, I don't know. Looked a bit thick. Mm-hmm. I have faith. Chop her up a bit and put a bit of... It's not your fucking equipment. Chop her up a bit and we'll put her into the bales. <laughs> Give him a bit of extra um, protein. Not sure how much protein there really is in trees, but... Ah, uh, well, she'll ferment.
Oh, I can see another stump. Really? I thought I got them all. Mm, there's two stumps and one log so far. Hey, Sarge. You sure that they're not just little bits of wood lying around? Because I think there's a couple of them. Mm, they look like stumps to me. How you going, buddy? Not a lot, just farming away. Sarge with the 200 bits, thanks buddy, I appreciate it. Brandon isn't here to contest you. <laughs> no. So enjoy the... Enjoy that. Because normally when he's here he tries to beat everyone else. He usually succeeds as well. Yes. So enjoy the victory. The next time he's in stream with you, you can always tell him that you beat him as well. He loves a bit of competition. He is in OCRP, but he doesn't really get on there. The chances of seeing him on there are pretty unlikely, I would think. Nope, I'm the same. Same here. Try to seem as fast, it's only because I'm mowing, probably. You can mow at a bit of speed. I'm only using a single mower as well, which means I can go a bit faster. It's it's dependent on mowers as well, what kind of mower you're using. The terrain of the paddock is another factor. 
tractor is another factor. If I was using Jeremy's shit box, little two wheel drive thing he has, it'd probably be 6Ks per hour or something. It's fucking hell. Tell you what, she'd be loud as fuck too without a cabin. <laughs> That's pretty true. And you'd be getting grass just spat at you. Mm-hmm. It'd basically just be a ride on a lawnmower if you were using that tractor. Yeah. Those two paddocks are done. Jeez. <sighs> Where to next? Uh, there's not really anything else to mow unless you want to start raking. Mm. I'll pass. I've got some cultivating to do now, so I'll go do that. Okay. But yeah, there's your two paddocks. I think you'll probably get um, a fucking fuck ton of bales, quite frankly. Well, it's not what I'm hoping for. Good luck with that. I won't be doing them tonight, though. No, I wouldn't have thought so. It's already nearly 10.30 as it is. So you want to go and rake all the friggin' things. I must have missed that row when I last picked up in this paddock. Guess so. I love how the mower's already up at 30% maintenance. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, and no, I'd only just serviced it before I came down to this paddock. She doesn't like the big jobs. No. Came for Easter, Jeremy. 
so so. Not I'm keen really. for the chocolate bit. <laughs> yeah. You should end up getting an extra couple of days off, shouldn't you? Oh, apparently everyone's going away for Easter, so probably not. No. Oh. <laughs> hell. I will guess I will find out. Nothing's actually been really said about Easter. All I've heard is people like, Oh, I'm having this day off and this day off. Mm -hmm. You're off to Singapore for Easter, Dan? Jesus. Aren't you just lucky? Wow, Nightbot is not putting up with shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Vash, what did you type? It must have been something pretty bad considering I have literally everything open. I didn't even think you had a caps spam. I, I love caps. I, I personally like caps. So I didn't realise there was a that was an issue. All caps? Oh. Hang on. He didn't ban me. Mm. I think Nightbot can nearly go on a holiday. What do you mean, Vash? What service trailer did you do sell? I think you saw one of them, you had two. If I remember correctly. Dan got banned again. Ah, uh, not Dan, friggin' Bash. Jeez. I'm done. Oh dear. I think that's when you give up, Bash, to be honest. Oh, one was full of fuel. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> Shit. We can override timeouts if he does. Yeah, Vash, I can go for a quick look in a minute.
Jesus Christ, these pigs are messy. Yep. Even the cows throw out a bit of food, to be honest. Mm. Alright, Vash, I'll go and have a quick look for you. Oh, I don't even think I have access to your farm, to be honest. Can't be bothered driving over there. Yeah, I think you saw the one with the fuel in it, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a fair few thousand dollars down the drain, probably. They might have gave it to you in the price. Mm, I don't think they do. I was being optimistic, but... I thought I might have got a bit more canola out of this paddock than I did. Did you fertilise it? I don't think I actually did. I was about to say, I don't think I actually fertilised it at all, though. Yeah, that's why you would have gotten a sweet fuck all out of it then. It's not a huge paddock anyway. No. Yep, you'll have to fill it again. I made it slightly bigger for next time anyway, so that's okay. Yeah, I saw that. You forgot to shut the gate. Um, 17,000 litres is better than nothing anyway, so that's okay. It's not selling for an amazing price at the moment anyway. Not as much as it could be. No. Alright guys, that is going to do it though for tonight's stream. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. Can't even talk English. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Sarge, thanks for the bits. Ah, oh, did you bash? Yeah, that sucks, buddy. But um, yeah, thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.